Today I'm going to show you how to build an inexpensive eastern bluebird house. So let's take a look and see what parts you're going to need and let's get going. First thing you need is a six foot dog ear fence picket. That's going to be your birdhouse. You're going to need a compound miter or a miter saw of some sort, jigsaw, skill saw, or a miter box it will work just fine for making your cuts. You're also going to need inch and a quarter screws, 364th drill, speed square, a tape measure, inch and a half hole saw, pencil, and a drill. Here are your plans. You can print this off if you'd like, or just look at the sizes. Those are exactly what it needs to be. And this is the front of the birdhouse. You're two inches down, inch and a half wide on the hole. That's pretty specific. It has to be that way for the bird, bluebirds. And it should be fine. Get your board out, slap it on, do your measurements. Your first cut's going to be the roof line. And that's going to be at 15 degrees. So you're going to want to set your miter at 15 degrees. And make your cut. All right, once that cut's done, you can lay your board on top of that one and use that for a template for your next cut. That's going to be your other side. Just go ahead and cut that. And you're ready to go. There's your 15 degree roof angle, and you're fine. Now turn your miter to 15 degrees in the other direction so you can cut your front and back and roof line. Gonna speed this up a little bit. If you follow the directions on the diagram, you should have no problem. But you can see the 15 degree cut right here. So I'll go ahead and cut another piece off there. 15 degrees. Just gives it a decorative look on the back of the birdhouse. Ah, got all my parts. Let's put this puppy together. All right, I like to lay everything out to kind of know where I'm gonna go. There's your roof, your front size. Measure off your front hole. Make sure you got it in the center. And drill it out. Be careful the drill doesn't catch and spin the wood out of your hand. There you go. Nice and clean. Set up your sides. Mark your sides. Put your roof on. You want to leave about a inch on the top there and on the bottom. That's where you're going to drill to mount to a fence post or a wall. I marked it, so let's go ahead and pre-drill it. All right, put your screws in, lock it down nice and straight. There you go. First side's done. Now we're going to put our front on, line it up, pre drill your holes. Pre drilling makes life so much easier. It's very easy to split this wood when you run the screws into it. Get your drills in there, line it up. Sock them down. All right, now you're going to position your door. This is actually the other side. It's going to be your door. You're going to slide it down about a quarter inch. That's going to give you your overhang to pull it open with. You can use the roof as a straight line. That's the axis for your screws that are going to be work as the hinge on the birdhouse. Screw in, tighten it down. I pre drilled these holes also, just didn't show it. And 
All right, there you go. That's your clean outdoor. Ready to go. Get your roof on, line it up, mark it and pre drill. One, two, three. your roof. There's your vent hole so your birdhouse breathes. There it is. I was just place the bottom in there. Line it up nice and tight, pre-drill your holes and put your screws in. One in the front, two on the sides. And there it is. There's your birdhouse. Clean out. Now we're just going to add a latch for the door. I'm just using cable hold downs. Um, you can purchase these at the hardware store also. They're for coaxial cable. This has a little nail and it's black plastic. Just nail that in there. It works like a nice little swing lockdown. Fairly inexpensive. And there you go. Well, that's all there is to it. What you end up with is a nice, sturdy birdhouse that'll last you probably three or four years. Just hang it to a uh, fence post or a hole you put in the ground right from the back. Screw it from the uh, top pieces here. That's what these top pieces are for. To screw into the wall. And with an easy clean out on the side, you can clean out last year's birdhouse and start with a new one. So I hope that helps. If you got any questions, leave them in the comments below and uh, have a great day.